so it's uh, probably 80 in here today because I'm not too far down from a tin roof and it's sunny and 75 outside so it's drying a lot quicker but even though it kind of looks choppy on this camera that's because of it's drying I blocked all that and uh, I only had to add filler to one spot there was one spot that I had to add just to skiff the filler over because it wasn't it was low it was way low so it's a lot better than it was because originally I was only planning on blocking this once I wish I could show you an angle on this camera but I can't really show you that quarter is fairly straight it's a, it's better than I would have expected it to be so far I've used half a gallon of primer on this car you pull high build urethane primer and I'm only a quarter of the way done okay with it dry you know you can't see much because when primer dries it's flat you can't really see anything if this car was solid primer and just jammed in it would look great so it's pretty good I mean I ran my hand down through there and it it looks pretty good I drilled this hole back it's still small it's supposed to be a little bigger but what I would probably probably do from here on is just file it bigger if I wanted to put a stock antenna in it I'm planning on putting a uh, cheap aftermarket antenna just because that's what I can get for now and I can always go back and file it and paint a little paint in there and then put the antenna on it so uh, that smooth I gotta finish sanding that fender and then I can prime the fender and uh, I'll show you this more in a few days I'm just gonna do some stuff for a while and I'll show you something here and there I'm uh, to be honest getting just a little burned out of body work and I'm sure that yens are getting burned out of watching these these videos because a lot of this stuff's repetitive prime that fender since I had sprayed that those fenders in a different color than the car I'm gonna repaint the inside of them on both sides but uh, I ain't taking it back off so I just kind of taped it looks pretty good really good before I before it dried I have a few pictures I'll put a, put a picture of it in here So, uh, I put filler there, and after I get that sanded, that'll be more than good enough. I ain't trying to get that perfect. I'm just trying to cover up that patch that somebody else made. And I put filler there. I will have to go back and put more on that. But I've had to build quite a bit of it up right here because you can see by the bottom of that rocker that's where the two rockers joined and it'll probably if you went by 
how it lines up to the door. I'll probably have to come on back to here. The front of the rocker and back there didn't line up. It had a swag to it. So I'm just going to make it straight from the outside. I'm not worried about it anywhere else. I had half a gallon of uh, Rage Gold that I bought for the 70 probably eight years ago. Well, it set for so long that uh, it dried out quite a bit. And I put uh, fiberglass resin in with it. Which is what that has in it anyway. I put fiberglass resin in it to uh, make it to where I could mix it and stuff and stir it up really, really good. But even the fiberglass resin was old. That's uh, from 2002. Boat resin. <laughs> so we're going to find out if this works or not. When I get back, I'll uh, try to sand it. And the worst thing that can happen is I have to dig it back out. So. Alright. So I roughed in where that had been patched with some filler. And I roughed this in. That's what uh, the rocker looks like. Uh, it's pretty well level. There's an issue that I can't do nothing about. The rocker's not level on top for here. So that's as good as uh, that can get. If you can hear it, it's raining. I can't prime that, but it's ready to prime. Bolted on the fender down here. That's with a, uh, that's what I'm using to attach the bottom of the fenders. I'm gonna have to jack the car up because this side, the, uh, Pole's not there. He uh, replaced the dog legs on both fenders, and that one was in it, you know, was ground into it, and this one's just smooth. So uh, I'm going to have to jack it up so I can drill the hole for this side. This area and where the rockers attach to the bottom of the cowl and everything was bent. I got it to fit as good as I could get it to fit. But things didn't line up exactly perfect. That's why it surprised me that the windshield lined up as good as it did. My point is, this didn't fit right on either side, exactly right on either side. The fenders don't line up with it right. The fenders and doors don't line up with it right. They don't line up with the cow, but with the quarter. But this side's the worst side because the driver's side's not off as bad. The original roof on the car was not forward and over. So that lines up to when we got everything to fit on this car. It means that the door, the best you can get it to fit, 
is up back here at the back. And if you try to lower it, then you have to deal with the gaps being crooked and everything else. So in order to get everything to fit as good as I could get it to fit on this car, it's the same thing as the 70 in that in order to get everything to fit as good as it could fit, everything had to be off a little bit. Because if everything, if I made everything fit this car perfect, as I tried, this door won't fit in here, or the fender won't fit right, or the windshield won't fit. So in order to make it fit as good as it could fit, everything had to be off a little. I can live with that. 